had we used the, the money from the sale of Andy Cole just to go to the bank and say, there you are, they could have lynched us and they would have had justifiable reasons for so doing. But I can tell them all in a sense, and they know this, we've gone and explained it to them, that the days of selling Beardsley Waddle and any player to do that have gone, we will reinvest in the squad and that's what we're going to do. I can say to those fans that in a sense, that, for instance, there was one chap on television, I'm told, he had his three-year-old son and his arm was facing the TV uh, presenter and saying, he's devastated, he's devastated, you know, and he, you know, three years of age. All I would say to fans, to, to, to our fans, that what I would like to ensure is that when that child grows up, Newcastle United are still a successful team. In a sense, we've had the 20 years of success. We've won the, Euro the, the, the Premier League many times and the European Championship many times. And we're recognised as, as an institution. And to do that, you have to put your foundation right. Now, we've come from nothingness, as I've said. The first division is nothingness. There's no money down there. Yet the sale have the same costs. And I've got a lot of sympathy for them down there. You get in the Premier League and you get the TV deals and, and the kudos is there. And I want to take Newcastle United through and, 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 you know, we will challenge and we will give Man United, Liverpool and the rest of them a run for the money. Make no bones about that. We are very, very ambitious. But that ambition has to be based upon solid foundation or else we'll be a one-season success and we'll die. I don't want to do that. Our no message to fans this week is everything they've said, whether it be real harsh criticism or uh, support, has, has been accepted. I think they've got every right to have an opinion. It's their club. But only one person really can make the, the football decisions. And I've made that decision. Yeah, there's two ways it can go from here. You know, if I get it wrong, well, you know, I know what the consequences are. And if we can turn the club and keep going upwards, then you know we're bound to win something because we finished third last year. And it's not a gamble from my point of view, it's, it's really strategy. I'm looking to improve the club. And I think £6 million and Keith Gillespie was a, an offer we couldn't refuse, bearing in mind where we need to go. Three points on Sunday would be the perfect start. It'd be lovely. And then knock Blackburn out of the cup and then we'll, we'll see you next week. <laughs>